First crews in Chicago protect themselves from head to toe, the scene they worked on that required so much safety gear. Good evening, I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. That hazmat scene is in the Hyde Park neighborhood on the city's south side. Let's go there live now and to CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno. Suzanne. Rob, Erica, sources say that meth, alcohol, and vaping material may have been among the items manufactured in a first floor condo right here behind me. The Chicago Fire Department hazmat team wears suits with air masks. They entered the Hyde Park condo to collect air samples where 25-year-old Zachary Padov was found dead. See, uh, Mr. Sergeant said the 25-year-old son is cold and not bleeding. Fire is out requesting CPD. Sources say when paramedics arrived, they saw numerous chemicals and items that could be used for drug manufacturing in Padov's room, among them a pressure cooker, jars, pills, and a crystalline material. Bomb and arson arrived. Families living in that section of the condo building were evacuated. At least six bags of evidence were collected. Late this afternoon, residents were finally allowed back into their condos. The fire department determined there was nothing hazardous to the public. There is an indication that narcotics are possibly being manufactured in there. Just your thought on that in your ward in Hyde Park, just blocks from where the president lives. It's the perfect place to, to do this because you don't bring suspicion to yourself. Um, but in terms of drugs, drugs are everywhere. Meantime, among the other agencies here today, the DEA, the FBI, and the Chicago Department of Environment. Now, as the investigation continues, led by the Chicago Police Department, no word on if any charges are going to be filed. We're live in Hyde Park at 53rd and Woodlawn. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Suzanne, thank you. We